So imagine you're given two points and they are three, negative four, and uh, five, twelve, okay? If you're gonna do this by hand and you wanna chunk it, i.e. you kinda wanna take time to kinda do the individual parts, the y's first, then the x is first, and then the, and then the ratio, you can do it. So, here's what we do, one, we take the y's and sub and subtract them. So now we have 12 minus, now because we have negative four, we have to put negative four in a bracket and we end up with 12 minus negative four, punch that in your bracket exactly as you see it in your calculator, exactly as you see it, and you'll get this, 16. Now, if the next thing that we have to do is we have to calculate the x's. The x's are given by the five, the 5 that we have here, and the 3. So now let's separate, let's subtract them. So now we're going to get 5 minus 3, which gives us, punch that in your calculator, you get 2. And 3, you bring them together. Your slope is equal to the y's that you calculated divided by the x's, right? So now that tells us that we have, well, 16 over 2, which simplifies to just 8. And you could say, therefore, m equals 8. So this version here is easier to type up on the computer or type up in a Google Doc. Now, remember, the first thing that you have to do First thing that you have to do is you have to start by taking a look at your y's and subtracting them. So in this case, we had 12 minus negative 4, okay? And because we had the negative 4, we had to put it in a bracket. But if we have two positive numbers, we just subtract them normally. And then you say your slope are your y's divided by your x's, which gives you this fraction which gives us a final answer of a slope equaling 8. Now you can use that to do your calculations on the Google Doc in case you want to do your work there. Okay, good luck guys.